Ladies and gentlemen, the show we've all been waiting for. Paranormal Buzz Radio is proud to present I Repeat Paranormal and Friends with your hosts, Kim Purvis and Allison Robinson. Live every Thursday night on Spreaker, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. Be sure to check out their Facebook page, REP Paranormal Busters. Views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of Paranormal Buzz Radio or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is strictly prohibited. For information on everything Paranormal Buzz Radio has to offer, visit our website, ParanormalBuzzRadio.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Listener discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to another night of RAP Paranormal and Friends. Um, Tonight we are on a location. Um, We have done a show from here before. It's kind of an ongoing investigation, so we're going to kind of see what we can get tonight. Um, I do apologize, you may hear some semis and stuff going by. Um, We're kind of close to a... Meat packing uh, meat, place. Yeah, meat packing place. So you might hear those every now and then or a rumble, and that's just that. Um, I'm going to kind of give you guys, since you guys can't see, you're going to have to be um, kind of imaginative tonight. Um, but we are in a home. Um, <laughs> excuse me. We do have some things set up um, around the house. All my noisy stuff. Kim's noisy stuff, as she calls it. We have the ovulus going. Um, we have REM pod. Um, we have the music box. And my sensor where you put it on, you clip it on something metal, and if they touch it, it's supposed to go off. Yeah. I don't for sure what it's called. It's something new. I'm uh-huh. still playing with it. Yeah. So she's... I've got it. All I can go like tell you like this. The gentleman that lived here was in the service, so I've got it hooked to a metal hanger with the uniform hanging from it. So hopefully we can get some questions asking and maybe he'll play with that uniform a little bit, mm-hmm. see if it'll go off. And um, Kim, Kim and I have been here. Uh, Spookum Kitty's hooked up. Oh, yeah, she's got Spookum Kitty hooked up. Um, we do have the candles and we have some cat balls laying around, too. Um, so we've they, already had some action in here before we started. Yeah. Seeing shadows and yep. Saw some shadows in here. Go by every time I walk in here. Um, I get, um, uh, goosebumps and the air's not on or anything. So, um, I was getting touched earlier in the back of my head. So we have a K2 over here by me. Kim's going to watch that to see if it, um, goes off at all. Um, Darren. Darren's on a roll tonight. Go, Darren, go. He's like, balls. <laughs> we got them out, too. So, yeah, Darren, yeah, there could be there could be contamination, but we kind of know the sounds of that. Um, it's usually, you can tell, it's the big semis that go by, and that's and pretty noticeable. And cars go by. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, so, uh, we do know that stuff. To mark on our recorders. Um, so yeah, it's we'll see. Um, we came here one day during the day, kind of like ten thirty to noon or something. And if it's the one person, I'm like, well, you know, we do come here this early. Usually, this person doesn't get up till like four in the afternoon. Um, so that could have been why we didn't get a whole lot that day. But we did come up with some other names. Um, on the necrophonics, um, which I got these names, um, uh, from looking back 
And the previous owners' names are the ones that came up on the Necrophonics that time, and it was Edward and Fanny. Uh, I know the very first time that Kim and I came here and we were doing the live, we got a name Lucy. Oh, uh, cat ball's going off. Can you see it on the camera at all? You might want to, oh, it just shut off, damn it. But the cat ball just went off. She literally got a new hat and she set the cat ball in it and all of a sudden the cat ball's going off. It was my new, huh? How's come, how's come every time I get a new hat for Hi, Shay. Hey, look, stuff goes in off there. on it. I don't know. <laughs> my, my black Kim, hat. Kim, they like your hats. Uh, my black hat, we got it. The K2 would go off on it. Remember at Melbourne? Yes, yes. A and now the cat balls are going off on that one. Oh, it's going off again. Can you see it in the camera? Yeah, I can see it a little bit. Maybe it's turn the camera. Right. Maybe, t yeah. It Because it, it's sitting down in the hat right there. Oh. You can see it going off. Awesome. And, and there was no vibration of the house, so. Nope. Nope. And we've tested that out here, too. Um, see? Kim is stomping right next to the cat ball right now. And it's not going off. And it's no. not going off. No vibration sets it off. I like how you put a bazillion exclamation points after that, Nick. <laughs> we miss you, too. We're glad you could join us tonight. You're always busy and on the go. And this is like the second time in I don't know how many months that I've been able to do a show. So, um, but yeah, if you're just joining, um, we are on location at a private location um it's kind of an ongoing investigation and um yeah we know some history we've been learning a little bit more and the the crazy thing is um before we start just kind of sitting here a little bit and if you guys have questions you want us to ask um on this location we'll do that as well but a little bit of history here is um the owners, the previous owners before this other person, their name was, I got to look it up, Edward and Fanny. And they had a couple kids. And um, I'm just going through my notes here because I wrote it down. So that way, if I ever came across those names, I kind of knew. But they don't even. Oh, wait, wait. There it is. And Lucille and Norma. And we have gotten a Lucy. And that came across the Ovulus while we were here the very first time. And that's before I knew the names. Um, but that last time we were here during the morning, we were trying to get the other person. But I think we came across Edward. Mm -hmm. Because he kept saying Ed, and yeah. it was a man. Um, and then when we had the girls here. Oh, that was a whole nother. We had the necrophonics going. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I turned it on, it said both their names right at the beginning. So. Yeah, it said both their names at the beginning. And um, yeah, that kind of spooked them out a little bit. Yeah, especially your old. She wanted to leave. <laughs> yeah, my oldest is very sensitive to this kind of stuff, so she can tell when something's around, and she gets freaked out. She wants no part of it. All right, so let's. That's awesome, Darren. All right, so let's go ahead and start asking some questions here. Um, my phone's about charged, so we can use the microphone. Okay, here we'll be using microphones here shortly, but um. I hope you don't mind that we're here tonight. I know that you do like to have people over and talk to you because you do get lonely. It's just, it's just Allison and Kim here tonight. We did bring some friends. They can't, they're not here in person, but they're on this computer here. And so if you want to talk to them, you can or make a noise or you can light up. We have several different toys in here that if you touch them, they'll light up and make sound. And that's one way you can communicate with us as well. What, was that you liking my hat, new hat? 
That's why you're playing with it. Do you know what year it is? We have this little box here too that's sitting next to me and you can use all the energy that you can and you can create a word on that screen so we can see it. There's footsteps on the stairs. I hope I'm catching that on on my camcorder. My, my, Put this. Um, my recorder's right next to the stairs. Okay, good. I'm gonna put the rim, I'm gonna move the rim pod onto the steps and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. So a little bit of about that. Um, this we. Is me. What? This is me turning the. Okay, on. that's Kim turning the rim pod on. She's gonna move it to the stairs. Um. We do get. The now. What the fuck? Oh, that scared me. All of a sudden, the computer screen went black. Huh? I said, all of a sudden, the computer screen went black and it got really dark over here. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> um, They're playing with our stuff. I guess. But, anyways, we were here and we brought Gina, one of our other teammates, and um, we were upstairs. We were in one of the bedrooms, Kim and I were. She sat in the hallway where we could see her, and I had the camcorder on her, and she was doing necrophonics with her headphones on. So Kim and I were asking questions and seeing what she would get as a response. And I was hearing movement on the stairs, and I was like, oh, it's probably Gina moving in the hallway. You see her throw her headphones off, and she's like, do you hear those footsteps? And I was like, I thought it was you. And you could hear them. She could hear them over the necrophonics if that's how loud it was. We did catch it on a recorder, and you can hear it on my camcorder. Um, we were having some K2 hits upstairs in the one bedroom. That bedroom's kind of weird. Um... Because we were getting them about mid-floor the very first time we came here, and we tried to test all the electricals, thought maybe it was a light underneath. We tried all that, couldn't get it to go. The next time we came, we had no activity in there with the K2 whatsoever. And then tonight we go up there, and there's a picture of one of the, a baby picture of a person who used to live here. And it was lighting up to the orange. Um, there's no outlet on the other side of that wall. We were testing and we've tested over there before and you don't always get a hit. So I'm not sure what's causing it. We haven't figured it out yet. We tried it. We keep trying to debunk it because it's never the same. It's not, it's random and it's always in that one room. A weird thing is Kim was getting a K2 hit off of a box. There's nothing inside the box. What what would cause the box to turn to orange if there's nothing in it? Darren, what's that? Do you questions for the girls? I'm not sure what you're asking with that one, Darren. Not Darren, what's that? Do you questions for the girls? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're asking with that one, Darren. Oh, jeez, Kim. That ain't gonna work. It's oh. picking up your Bluetooth and mine. Oh, up the radio, so I can't use oh, it. Oh, dang, that sucks. <laughs> Gosh, I'm like, what? What? It's picking up the radio station.
Oh well. <laughs> Bill, if you're here, or Ed, or Fanny, we have a question from one of our friends. What is your association with this house? What is going on with this damn thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just wasn't. Let me scroll. I'm just trying to look at the questions here. Do you know who the president is? Okay, I have this little box over here, remember, I was telling you about? Use all the energy that you can, and can you show me on that box how many fingers am I holding up? Either that or knock as many fingers she's holding up, if you don't want to talk on the box. What was that? I didn't hear that. I heard something come from the kitchen. Front door's locked, right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> We're yeah. kind of in a sketchy neighborhood, so. Yeah, I locked the door. Can you come over and put your play with that hat again and turn on that ball for us? I like when you turn on the ball. Oh, th this is a good question. This would go good with one of them that I know personally here. I know what it is, but our friend Darren wants to know, what's your favorite alcoholic beverage? Maybe we should run necrophonics on that question. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, what if you turn Bluetooth off on yours and just set Necrophonics over here by the speaker? But it was picking up you talking. On, as soon as I walked in with the speaker, it was picking your... No, on, with this this one, the microphone. I just left it out there. Oh, okay. Okay. <gasps> That is something we're still trying to figure out, Nick. Um, we're still trying to figure it out. But, like I said, I mean, I know we have had things move here. That's a semi. That's a semi. <laughs> <laughs> That's a semi. Definitely a semi. Here. I'm going to hold this up to the... The microphone so you guys can hear and we'll ask some questions here. Well, yeah, what was your favorite drink? Uh, alcohol. Can you tell me whose baby picture is up on the bedroom wall upstairs? Yeah. 
What's your favorite color? I'm holding a picture, William. Can you tell me who this chunky baby is? Can you tell me who she is? Oops, that was me. It's a cute baby. Can you tell me? You don't want to say? Can you tell me her nickname? It's unusual because we don't usually get that name. I know. Usually, usually my nickname will come up on here, so he might not be here right now. Um, it, might, it should be in the two. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you repeat this? Can you say the number seven? Yeah. Nick said he heard the name Shannon. I don't know who Shannon is. Nope. That one I don't know yet. I don't know the whole family that lived here previously. I just know those four names. And the chunky baby in the picture was me, by the way. <laughs> well, Darren, you know, one time I was over here with my mom and, and the girls. And... There had been a um, a shooting just like a block or two over, and so we had to drive by. We wanted to see if we could see the yellow tape, but like the whole section was like blocked off, so we weren't sure exactly which house it was. There was like four houses blocked off. Edward, are you here? Can you, can you tell me your name that liked my hat? Ed. Ed, Ed you liked my hat? Did you wear a hat like that? Lucy, are you here? I thought I heard Darren. <laughs> that sounded like a good Darren. <laughs> Anybody else hear that? I <laughs> didn't. Well, I've said his name a couple times. Yeah. Can you tell me? Do you have any grandkids? No. 
<laughs> Darren and and Nick said they heard it, and Matt's like, sounded like it. <laughs> William, if you're here, I want to thank you for your service in the Navy. Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? How many fingers am I holding up? Nick heard three. I was actually holding up two fingers, but... Are there any secret rooms in this house? No. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> sound like gurgling. Sound like Beaker off of the Muppets or something. <laughs> I never heard it before on there, but doesn't mean it was never on there before. What kind of shows do you like to watch? I like to watch crime shows, like true crime, murders, all that jazz. It's pretty much what I watch 24-7. Oh, my camcorder just died. Yep. Goodbye, bye. I got a book here. Can you tell me whose book this is? Can you tell me what it's about? One of these things I'm going to sit down and read this book. <laughs> Do you have a favorite magazine you'd like to read? <laughs> No. It's even got a section on exercises. Oh. Hmm. Do you have Do you have a grandkid that likes to run? No. No. We're not talkative. Who we think we're talking? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how many spirits are present here? I thought they were saying their names. I thought I heard John and a penny. See? Did you like gardening? Way back when. Yes. 
We've got to find the history of the alive. Mm hmm. Uh, I heard Ed again. Ed, did you do farming? This would have been country, but back then. What kind of work were you in, Ed? Is there anything buried on this property? Bill, if you're here, can you come talk to me? Oh my god. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, gee, no, that can't be goosebumps. You know what duck duck means? Yeah. Uh, it came across her again. I, I heard it, I know. <gasps> That's why I looked up at you. <laughs> I gotta move. What does it mean? Oh. Okay, something just touched my leg. Something touched your leg? Yep. Do you have a favorite baseball team? If so, what's your favorite baseball team? This is just staying green. Hi, Allie. I still got good bumps. What? What? I heard that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I got goosebumps. You got goosebumps? Not right now, I don't. No, I was asking them. Oh. That's when they said what? Do you like kitty cats? You like, do you like kitty cats? If you do, I'll bring you seven of them. You want seven kitty cats? Can you tell me when your birthday is? What month is your birthday? This is it April? I, I can't. I, I have to have the headphones in for me to understand that half the time. How old will you be on your birthday? It sounds like me? something about in the light. Hmm? There was a woman, it sounded like she whispered in the light. Something in the light. In the light? Hmm? What's in the light? Carol Ann! What's in the light? Well, the only light we got is from the computer and, and the kitchen light. That's the only lights that are on. Do you need more light? Can you turn all these candles on for us? You just gotta screw them, turn them on to screw, tighten them. 
You need more light. I thought I heard Allison, but I could have heard that wrong. Well, this is me. That's Kim. This she's, is me. She's moving Since the kitty Allison's, cat. Allison's uh, getting touched. Maybe, maybe they'll touch the kitty down here by her. You just gotta pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty instead of Allison. No, the cat ball has gone silent. It has not come back on. Uh, it hasn't since it did that twice. Yeah, it did it twice. Maybe they got tired of my hat. Messing with the music box. If you know my nickname, can you tell me what it is through this little box I'm holding? Kim and I came over here one time and we brought three girls with us. Can you tell me one of their names? My friend Allie has a question for you. She wants to know what your favorite soda pop is. Hit stop on what? The necrophonics. Just hit stop. So I just hit just where it says stop. Just touch it. Yeah. Oh shit! The music box is going off. I was just looking around to see, and it, it started going. What the fuck? So you leave your mic. <laughs> <laughs> so I leave the mic. I haven't, I haven't touched it. I just, I was just walking through here checking the room pod and stuff. And yeah, but it's pointing in there, right? Yeah, it's pointed in where your, where William passed away. In. William, if that's you, can you turn that music box off for a minute? He won't stop. Maybe Darren, if he... are you here? <laughs> he doesn't like Darren. <laughs> I know. It'll shut off if Darren comes. I'm going to shut it off and recalibrate it and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, because it's actually pointing into the room where one of the persons had slept and um, actually passed away. In the no, bathroom quit. there. No, I know. Doesn't it sound creepy? Try, try waking up to that in the middle of the night. You're in a place, okay? You're sleeping in a living room, and you hear that going off. And it's okay. So you have to go from the living room. There's a kitchen, and then off the kitchen is a dining room. This is at Cambry House, and you see this 
light. What? White light flickering, and you hear that creepy-ass noise in the middle of the night going off. And guess who's the one who had to get up and shut it? Well, I went to go shut it off, and as soon as I got to the door, it shut off. There's somebody up there? Are you hearing something upstairs now? Sound like they were coming down the steps. Yeah, I had to go shut it off. We heard noises in there. I mean, there was people walking upstairs at that place. None of the equipment would stop. Like the ovulus. As soon as we laid down, it would not shut up. I woke up to it going off. And it actually said two of the person who owns the place, two of her uncle's names on the thing. I told her, I'm like, 20 words like showed up in the middle of the night and I gave her these names and she's like, oh my gosh, those are my uncle's names. That was kind of weird. No, I heard a voice, so I was going to hand it over to the staircase. Yeah. And it sounded like somebody either went up it or was starting to come down it. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Of course, my camcorder died. died already. And it's been ch charging for 24 hours. It's already dead. Hasn't even been, wasn't I, even I filming think, for 30 think, minutes. I think you got a gypped. Battery. I think my battery is garbage on that. Yeah, we, next time if, if we do another live show from here, we figure we'll do it upstairs. Tonight we figured we'd come down on the main level and see what we get because there are some things that happen in here. Um, I mean, I've had the lights do some weird, weird stuff when I talk about certain things. Um, we were actually upstairs. We, Kim and I brought two of my daughters and one of their friends over. And my youngest one stayed upstairs with us. My oldest one came down here with her friend because she got real freaked out because um, she was out in the hallway. And she told me to stop whispering her name. And I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> Nobody was. And uh, freaked her out. So she came down here with her friend. And the next thing you know... The cane that is sitting down in here started to move while they were sitting in here. But she just, she sat there because the lights were on. So she felt a little more comfortable <laughs> instead of being in the dark, I think. I told her we could turn the lights on, but she didn't want to. Um, I do. I, I think it came with an extra battery. I should probably try it, but... Um, I know somebody who has the same camcorder as me, and they use um, one of those battery packs, and they just connect it, their camcorder to that, and it seems to work. So I might try that. I'll just have to carry a battery pack around with me, but it is what it is. But yeah, this, this place is, I mean, it's kind of hit and miss. It's not, you know, it's just a place that Kim and I come to. Test new equipment. Test new equipment. We were asked to come here um, because um, the people that come here to do some things on the house have had things happen that they can't explain and they just kind of want to know. So that's what we're trying to figure one out. Of them refuses to come in here by by themselves anymore. Yeah, came in here one day. This person's like, eh, I don't believe in that stuff. Eh. Come in here by themselves and they took off out of here with their hands their hair standing on and they were got so cold and freaked out that they had to leave is it looks foggy hazy in here smoky yeah like i can't i can't focus in front of me right now yeah it, it's it's like a like a haze right now it's making me kind of nauseous actually and i can't smoke in here so it's not me <laughs> yeah it's not it's not him i gotta go outside to smoke Okay, yeah, I can do that. I mean, I just got a cheap one for now. Like, I mean, it's a good, I mean, it does good work. Like, you can see things. I've caught EVPs on this camcorder, which I've never really done before. Um, it's just that the battery life, it seems to just drain so fast. So, um, I'll send you the information on it. That keeps, oh, gosh. Yeah, you're, you're all hazy over there. All, all the way around you is hazy. Yeah, it's making me kind of nauseous, actually. Like, yeah. I can't I can't focus. Like, you're, you're like, like the bottom half of you is blurry. That. 
I gotta go check something out. Okay. Why ain't the cam corner working? I know. I didn't. I I might have my I'm extra bag. I'm setting off the music box because I gotta walk in front of it. Okay. While she's doing that, um, let's try. Let's try something here. I wish I had my camcorder going so you guys could see, but. Alright. Can you finish this knock for me? I'm really not sure what windows open in this place. I really don't know. But yeah, I'm getting... <clears throat> my throat is getting kind of... I know it's kind of dusty in here, so that could be why my throat is getting kind of... <clears throat> scratching and everything, but... Um, yeah, it's... What are you doing? Okay. Okay. I was checking the bathroom. Uh huh. As I saw a red light up the towards the ceiling. So I went to see if you could see brake lights from vehicles. The window's not pointed at the road that they're going, it's opposite direction than the semis are going by. That's why I wanted to see where that red light was coming from. Oh, yeah, that, well, that, that window over there would be to the neighbor's house. But yeah. it's like the neighbor's house is right here, and then it's like their backyard. Is right where that yeah. window is. At. I, I I looked out it, but the where the red light was is too hot. Was up too high for the window. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ah, hit the knicker fine. Uh, yeah, see excuse if we me. Get now I'm getting the answer. hiccups. Okay, let's let's try this. Okay. Is somebody is somebody trying to stand in front of me right now? Yeah, because you're blurry to me. Are you trying to make yourself known? Is somebody is somebody trying to stand in front of me? Are they are you wanting to say something to me? Do you have a message for me? Do you have a message for me? I'm not taking any meds. Why is it so blurry in here by me? Dead? Who's dead? Does it does time exist where you are? Do you know what time it is? Do 
Do you want some vodka and water? If we're speaking with Ed and Fanny, I don't know. What is your favorite Sunday dinner you guys used to have? My shoulder burns. Huh. Nothing's going off over that direction. No. It just burns. Feel like you got scratched for you? I don't know. It's just, it's like, just kind of like a burning sensation on my shoulder. I feel something on top of my head. I don't see no shadow behind you. Cause I, I can get the glare of the computer. Can you tell us what town you're from? I'm probably safer in the house than going outside in this neighborhood. <laughs> so did you like going fishing? No. No, we're not talking to William. No, we're not talking to Bill. Ed, what did you like to do then? Did you say spirit? I, I can't. Like I said, I gotta have the headphones on for me to hear it. You're closer than I am. Did you like to read? Do you like to read books? Did you used to make wine in your basement? What about beer? Did you make beer in your basement? Allison's got the hiccups. I thought I was going to puke there for a second. No, 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 no. <clears throat> you want me to go over there and sit for a little bit? <sighs> Maybe you should try sitting here for a little bit. I'm getting really nauseous over here. You get it. You go. I'm going to stand up. Kim's going to switch me spots here for a minute. I just need to get up for a second. Uh, What was that? What was that? The cat. Did I bump in? Maybe I bumped him when I... Well, okay, let me try it again. Okay, so I was sitting here like this. Yeah. I got up, and I walked away. And no, you did not bump me. So the kitty just went off. They're following you. Okay. Oh. I'm pointing to a person in a picture. Can you tell me their name? Okay. What's going on? Whoa. Huh? Yeah. My computer went black again. There we go. Now we're back on. I'm trying to see if I can get felt. <laughs> she wants to get a little action. <laughs> I'm just... Well, K2 just flickered over here. I'm telling you, there's something over there. There's something in this corner. This is, it's cold over here beside me. Oh, there it is. I told you. 
told you there's something. It, it's right because the C two <laughs> flickered up to the orange and then went back down and it hasn't done it since. But See, it, I, I got I got a chill right over here. Okay, so I switched you spots. Yep. I don't feel like I did over there. Like over here. It's clear. I can see you fine. But when I was sitting over there, I was starting to lose my vision. There's a cold breeze coming right behind me right now. Can you tell me who's behind me? That's a vehicle. Can you tell me what happened in the bathroom? Hand me that cat ball over there. Where is it? Right there. In the couch. Oh, that's it. Bring it over there. I want to... Try something over here. Burning. Okay. Getting our balls situated here. Okay. Okay, I'm still catching that breeze behind me. Is it coming through the window? I don't think so. Because the wind's not even blowing. No, it's totally still outside. It was pretty muggy out earlier. Curtains aren't moving. None of the curtains are moving. Oh, sorry. The cobwebs aren't moving. So, <laughs> I got a cobweb over here. It's not moving. All right, let's see here. I'm going to put this on. Who wore this for trick or treat one time when we came over for trick or treat? Who wore this this way? It said go home. You want us to go home? Can you tell me who wore this wig for Halloween? No one wore the wig for Halloween? I have a picture. The girls came over here and there was somebody sitting at the table with this wig on. What was, who, who was it? Marge, are you here? Yeah, I'm trying to over her to get out too. Are we pissing you off? We're not here to piss you off. Well, you're gonna have to switch me spots here. We've we've hit our hour. Okay. Get out again, Darren says. Okay, well, we'll start wrapping things up here, but there's a few things I want to say first before we do. I will start. shut this off. Let me get rid of it. I will get out of Allison's way, but yeah, there's something over there behind that, behind that chair. Yeah. All right. You said done. Yes, thank you, Darren. Remember to like and share, everybody, please. And thank you. We appreciate it. 
Um, before we wrap things up, um, we want to let you all know that um, we will be helping Jim back from IPIS on October 30th at the Sumner School for its very first event. This is the very first event that we have ever co-hosted. So we're very appreciative of him asking us. We think that's awesome. Um, they have an awesome team. Sumner School is amazing. Um, the first time we ever been there, um, we had quite a bit of personal experiences. We had some weird things with the K2. Um, cat balls going off. Um, Maverick getting tipped over. Maverick getting tipped over. A lot of EVPs, which, um, you know, we have to share that information first with um, with the people of Sumner School first before it can be um, put out there. We're just trying to get it all switched over so we can do that so they can hear it. But there was a lot of awesome stuff caught there. We had a lot of strange things happen, and I'm super excited to get back there. Um, tickets will be at the door. Remember, October 30th, Sumner School, um, $30 at the door. Dinner is included, so Jim's going to be grilling burgers and hot dogs. And he posted yesterday, if you know for sure you're coming, let him know so he knows he has enough food. Yes, so if you are coming, please make sure to get a hold of Jim Beck. You can get a hold of him on Facebook, Instagram, under Jim Beck. Um, go ahead, message him, say, hey, yeah, I'm going to be there just so we make sure we have enough to feed everybody. Um, it's going to be from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. And this place is awesome. It is huge. It is massive. You will get turned around in there and you get very disoriented. I will tell you that much. I got lost. Yeah, Kim got lost. They it's come looking for me. Yeah, it's it's insane. The stuff that happens there and how much activity has been there when it just opened this year. Um, so it is an awesome location. We'd love to see you guys there. So if you're around, please stop by October 30th, Sumner School. Uh, check it out. Jim Beck, IPIS. You can find him on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you message him. Let, let him know that you're going to come. $30 at the door, and that includes um, your supper, too. So come join us. We'll have fun. Um We'll have some equipment there um, for everybody who may be new to it and wants to come check it out. Um, we will help you. That's what we're there for. We're going to help you guys um, and everything, and it's going to be an awesome, fun time. So um, thank you, everybody, for joining us here tonight on this live investigation. Um, stay tuned. You know, there might be other times that we come here. We might pop in with some live feeds and stuff like that. So just stay tuned. Um, next week, I think it might be a surprise yet because like I said, I got sick and we had some other things happen. So those were supposed to be pre-recorded shows. So stay tuned. We'll, um, who knows? We might be back here and upstairs. Yeah. You never know. We might be back here and upstairs. We'll see. Um, so thank you. Thank you to everybody who's in, in chat. Um, I'm going to try to list everybody. That was in chat. If I forget somebody, I apologize because, um, you know, I wasn't watching the screen all the time. I, I'm not there taking notes. Yeah, Kim's not here taking notes. Um, so we had Matt, Darren, Shay. We had Beyond Paranormal. We had Allie in chat tonight. Um, so thank you, everybody, who was in chat and participating. Thank you for everybody who was not in chat but listening. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll be back next Thursday live at 8, 7 Central. So... Everybody have a good weekend and peace out. And don't forget, October 30th, Sumner School, $30 at the door. Let Jim Beck know on Facebook or Instagram. Peace out, everybody. Thank you for listening to REP Paranormal and Friends. Be sure to check out Kim and Allison on Facebook at REP Paranormal Busters. 